Let's see then the first, the first thing about this tense. We are going to check the elements that we need to form the positive, the negative, the question, and the short answers. As you know, in the present perfect, we use the auxiliaries have and has. And after have and has, we are going to have the past participle of a verb. In this case, we are going to use been. Have been and has been are going to be the base form for this okay. tense. Then we are going to have, I have been, you have been, we have been, they have been, but with the third person, remember that we use has. Yo, he has been, she has been, it has been. We can contract have or has with the subject, and then we have I've been, you've been, we've been, they've been. He's been, he's been, it's been. And after had been or has been, we are going to use the main verb in gerund form. Remember that the gerund form is with ing. In this example, we have working. Then for negative, don't forget that we add the particle not. I have not been working. In this case, we are going to put not between have and been. I haven't been working, that is going to be the contraction. She has not been working. She hasn't been working. For the question, don't forget that we put the auxiliary verb have or has at the beginning. And then after the subject, we are going to write or to say been mm -hmm. and with the main verb with ing, been working. Have you been working? Has she been working? Yes, I have. Yes, he has. No, I have not or no, I haven't. No, he has not or no. He has it. This is going to be the forms for the present perfect continuous. The present perfect continuous has two main uses. One of them talks about situations that have not finished or have just finished. They started in the past. For example, have you been crying? I have been painting the bedroom. Or it is used for repeated actions from past until now. For example, she has been calling you for days. It means that she has repeated this action several times over the last few days. She called on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, and on Thursday. Then it is used often with time expressions such as for, since, how long, or, or lately. For example, we have been studying since you left this morning. I've been trying to talk to you all evening. She hasn't been sleeping very well lately. You know the use of these words, for, since, how long, how, all lately, because you know the present perfect tense. Thank you so much for your time and your attention to this presentation. Okay. Let's see. Then we are going to put in practice this brief explanation about the present perfect continuous, trying to answer the Kahoot game. Okay, the pin for the game is 547961 or scan the QR code that we have next to it. Thank you, Ivana, Fernando, thank you so much. At City, welcome. Laura, okay, that's great, thank you so much.
Ivana is on the third place. Laura Olguin is, oh, is on the second place. And Omar is on the first place. Congratulations, all of you. Do you have any question, any comment? No questions, no comments, okay. Les recuerdo entonces que hay que subir la unidad 1 y 2. En la unidad 1 hay que hacer la actividad que nos indica el foro y subir nuestro portafolio de evidencias. Y en la unidad 2 únicamente hay que subir el portafolio de evidencias. Los invito nuevamente a que acudan a la Mediateca por una asesoría presencial con la maestra Ruth. Sí, les envié por ahí un... Un este, una infografía en donde indica el nivel y a qué hora les van a atender. Ok. See you next class. Thank you so much for your time, your Teacher. interest, and your attendance. Sí, Amy, ahorita te atiendo. Ok. Sí. Ok. Amy, dime. Este, ¿Tenemos que ir a toda, toda la semana o podemos no, ir no, solo no. una vez? No, no, no. Un día que tú tengas un poquito de tiempo libre... Vas, ¿no? Si tienes alguna duda con la maestra Ruth. No, no es necesario que vaya ah, gracias. cuatro días. No, nada más un, una sola vez a la semana. Así, un poquito como este, esta asesoría que tenemos los sábados. ¿Sí? Vas, te presentas y ya. Si tienes alguna otra duda, hasta la otra semana. ¿Sí? Va a ver, es un reforzamiento de los mismos temas que vemos aquí. Pero a veces ya ven que aquí el tiempo es un poquito corto. Entonces, si todavía tuvieran alguna duda que no les deje avanzar en sus actividades, pues van con la maestra Ruth. Es una vez a la semana nada más, en el tiempo okay. que te lo permita. ¿Sí? Por favor. Thank Ahí you, va. teacher. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you.